I have been keeping a very, very dark secret. And I don't know how to tell you, so I'm just gonna get on with it and get it all out in the open. North Lodge is absolutely infested with aphids. They are absolutely everywhere. And for the first time in a long time, they are on my roses, they are on my fruit bushes, they are in my greenhouse. There is not many plants currently at North Lodge that aren't covered in whitefly, blackfly or standard common brown aphid. And there's a very, very large problem to get rid of. Now, as many of you know, uh, I've just got my bees. So I would normally, and I have openly said in the past, responsible spraying done on a very, very controlled way is something I have used to control pests and diseases in the garden before. Now I have the bees, that is completely off the cards. I've gone on about to you about mulching and keeping the stress levels on plants down, correct spacing and allowing airflow. But we have had such a very, very weird start to the year. A very mild winter, followed by a very, very dry, warm spring, and now a sopping, sopping cold, wet May, when everything should be strong and oomphing up, things are now susceptible. I've got roses already in the garden, unfortunately, with black spot, caused by that very, very long period of seven or eight weeks we had without rain uh, before this huge bout of rain in May started, and it's basically been freezing cold and it hasn't stopped raining since. So it's left me with a little bit of a conundrum. How am I going to get rid of these nasty sap drinking aphids? Now obviously we have an awful lot of birds in the garden. They do control an awful lot of these. So one weak thing with spraying is you have to be very, very careful and you don't want them taking these aphids and the larvae back to their nests and feeding them to baby birds. Nobody wants that on their conscience. So onto the internet to find other solutions of how these things can be controlled more ethically and with a less footprint and less damaging effect to the environment. So you have many, many ways. You can either ignore them. You can say live and let live and you can let these little things go about their business. Now the big problem with that is they excrete something called honeydew. Uh, it is actually aphid wee. It falls from the uh, uh, infested stems onto the leaves below and then you can get really nasty black powdery, or sorry, black mildew, which is really very unpleasant. So you've got two problems. That will then cover the leaf in horrible black mould. The leaf falls off and you go around in this impetual cycle, continually not being able to get rid of them. So leaving them for me is not really an option, especially as the garden is open to public scrutiny on the 10th and 11th of July this year. So about six, seven weeks ago, so away. You can go out with warm soapy water and you can wash these off. Physically, manually remove them from the stems, obviously incredibly time consuming. There are other solutions, and I have opted for this one. Now, you probably can't see this. Uh, I don't know if I turn that round. I have chosen to spend some of my birthday pennies from my birthday last week on buying myself some adult uh, ladybirds. These creatures are ravenous eaters and consumes uh, consumptions of um, aphids and green fly and white fly, consuming around 50 a day uh, in both their uh, larvae former formula and in their adult form as well. So these little critters are going to do the tidying up for me. Incredibly expensive. I need lots more of these, but these were a lot of money. There's 50 adult uh, ladybirds in this pot. Um, uh, they cost me best part of 35 quid on the internet but I thought well let's give them a go let's get a few of these sprinkled about the larvae also eat the same quantity of aphids as well and each adult will lay between 20 and 30 eggs a day which take around four to six days to then hatch into the larvae so hopefully the problem should be dealt with quite quickly if you are just a little tip if you are thank goodness the weather has broken if you are going to do something like this they are quite uh, um, susceptible to temperature changes around 12 to 15 degrees is ideal as a temperature so perfect on a day like today and also when you do your release don't do it in the heat of the day otherwise the ladybirds will spread their wings open up and fly off and disappear and they're not where you want them to be so you want to be doing this at the at latter part of the day it is now towards the back end of the day temperatures are now dropping so just around dusk you want to be releasing them now so i'm going to skip merrily around my garden with these aphid munching machines and start releasing some ladybirds so if you do need any more uh, helps or tips on pests and disease control in your garden please feel free to drop me a message or drop me a comment below but i'm off to release my ladybirds and hopefully they're going to munch my munch 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 all of my aphids and all of my black fly and all of my green fly before you guys come and see the garden on the 10th and 11th of July.